G'day Rotten Lot, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're uh, looking at this video, you're excited about reverb because I am excited about reverb. And every time I go through a new uh, multi effects unit that comes across the Pedal Picasso's uh, YouTube channel, I'm always the most excited to check out the reverbs. I always think they're amazing. We are running in full stereo today on this Sony Cake Matrix Box 2. Now I'd like to thank Sony Cake very much for sending this over. Anna, if you're watching, absolute legend. And thank you for uh, supporting this channel for a long time now. Let's get into it. Um, set up a Bogner. A little bit dirty. With a Bogner 4x12, a little bit of noise reduction in the middle. Not that it's really doing anything. Because I'm using uh, noiseless pickups in this uh, Fender Strat. So let's get into it. Reverb, first one on the list is Studio. I'm going to turn the mix up and the delay up, uh, the decays up a lot on these. Ow, my strap is digging into me. So you can have a nice listen to the algorithm. Reverb. Room. Much shorter and a much longer pre-delay. So it sounds a little bit slappy, you know. Now all these reverbs have the ability to turn the tails on and off. You can do, click that on there if you're saving your preset. Nice little bouncy bits in there, you can like the sound sort of bouncing off the walls. That's nice, I don't use room reverb at all, but uh, that's nice. Hall reverb I use a lot, I'm going to turn the mix up and the decay up. Oh, that's a lovely, nice, lush uh, stereo reverb. Lovely hall reverb church again. I'm going to turn everything right up now. This is a lot wetter and a lot longer than I would normally use any of these reverbs for, but it's nice to you know give you all a chance to have a listen to them. Next one's the plate. Now this one has a damp, and I'm never sure which way it goes. If you turn it up, do you get more treble or less? I'm not sure. Okay, so turning the, damp, the high damp up gives you a less treble because it's dampening more. Turn it 
turning it up gives you less treble because it's dampening the high frequencies. These are great reverb algorithms. The spring. <laughs> right, we have to turn this one up. See if we can get some boing out of it. Yeah. That's sort of boingy. It's a very, very nice spring reverb. Very, very nice indeed. That's with the mix at 100%, so there's no dry guitar signal in there. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, Sky. Mix and decay. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's a nice, airy, breathy reverb, isn't it, this guy? Let's have a listen to the C. Oh, it sounds like it's got some vibrato on it. Let's have a listen here. Yep, some sort of modulation on there, which is weird because now there is modulation reverb. Oh, here we go. We've got control over this one. Mix. Turn the mix up. So you can turn the low end and the high end all the way up. It's really nice and moderate. Oh, we're down to the last one. Shimmer. Turn the mix right up. And I bring the high end all the way down like I always do with my shimmer reverbs. I find them a little harsh.
probably bring I would probably bring the uh, reverb back on this one a bit and I would bring up some delay as well nice slow delay try and get some nice ambience out of this thing making a pad noise now which is pretty cool all right if I was going to a gig if I was going to a gig I would be using this church I would have the pre delay almost off. I do actually like a pretty wet, uh, you know, bass tone at a gig, even when I'm a sort of a bit dirty like this. I find the reverb tails really help with um, the reverb. Really helps you just sort of settle into the mix. I only play in a three-piece band. So I help it sort of. I find that it helps the guitar just sort of sit nicely in between the sort of hi hat and snare and the bass drum and the bass guitar. Helps it find its little place in the mix, you know. Yeah, I might even have the mix up a little bit more, I reckon. That's one of those situations where you listen to it and you think, ah, that's too wet, but I promise you, when you hear it at, you know, 105 decibels in a band situation, it, uh, it'll it sit lovely in there, don't you worry about that. Well, anyway, there you go. There is all the reverbs in the uh, Sonic Cake Matrix Box 2. There's a heap of different reverbs there to choose from, a couple of different special effect things as well as your you know your good meat and potatoes reverbs like plate and uh, spring that sort of stuff i always like the hall reverbs or the uh, you know the cathedral or the church reverbs that sort of thing i but i still like to sort of turn them down a bit so anyway there you go i hope that was helpful if you got this far please give us a thumbs up or um leave a comment or subscribe even if you, that all helps us out a huge amount in the YouTube algorithm and uh, it's absolutely free to you but it, uh, it means a lot to us so uh, if you got this far thank you for tuning in we hope you got something out of that if you decide to buy one of these there is a uh, discount code down in the comments section uh, in the description of this video so go check that out thank you for tuning in we'll see you in the next video bye